up, land your men, and what is up, land your rats. Crap it up. We here for another video. So today I am going to give you guys my personal story of starting my business, what I did, how I went about it, what I could have done differently. So without further ado, let's get into it. So when I started my business, we were in the middle of, well not the middle, like we were freshly, freshly, freshly new until quarantine. I was online schooling, which sucked for my last couple months of senior year. It just really sucked. Anyway, so when I started my business, it was the beginning. I am quarantined and the news starting up of COVID. So originally one day I was on Instagram. I was like, Ooh, I like this product. So I asked two of my other friends that I knew who had their businesses. And I was like, Hey, do y'all do this? And they both said no. So I was like, well, why would I want to wait for somebody else to do it? when I could just imitate it or at least try to imitate it. So that's really what I did. I'll put a picture here to show what I did, what, what I started off doing. So then months went by, I was getting exposure for doing that specific product. So I was like, oh, well, it's kind of cute. Let me see how I can dress it up, add more to it. And then boom, the beginning of the lanyard lab. So with that, um, I would say I would do a lot of things differently. I would do a couple things more going looking back on it. One thing that I would suggest that I would have done is planning because I literally started my business. I just woke up one day and I was like I'm going to do this but I never really planned and even with some of the new products that I'm doing I don't really plan I just get up get this stuff for it and I try it so that's just one thing um another thing I would most definitely say as a, a business owner that sales are not getting sales it's not always on the high like you'll have some days where you'll get four five six maybe seven to ten sales but then you will have some days where you'll hardly get one so one thing that i do when it's one of those downer days i post 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 and what else do i say post i consistently consistently push 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 for these products and what i'm learning now that's not all about promoting is you have to be interactive with your customer with your audience you just have to be engaging so then they can come in and be like well what do you sell can i have this so being interactive with your audience really do really do help the next thing that i want to speak on is using those hashtags for Instagram. Using Instagram and trying to get into the groove of how Instagram works for businesses and how you can get on the Explore page. So just really sitting and researching is a plus as well. So I'm using TikTok as well. Um, Twitter, Twitter has really, really, really helped me tremendously as well as TikTok. Facebook groups are a plus as well and with those facebook groups because i know people who be like oh well, facebook groups don't work for me or facebook groups are annoying well i say find your specific crowd search up whatever you need to search up for your specific crowd and then try to be engaging at first like please do not start the group with posting your stuff what i started doing was trying to be more engaging in, with the group and then with certain posts every blue moon i'm like hey do this for the business and yeah so facebook groups are a plus as well 
I use Snapchat sometimes, but even then, that's kind of iffy because you don't really know. Because you're trying to get your target audience. Target audience is really a big thing for your business and to know who your target audience is. So I would say that as well. Finding your target audience, knowing it, and applying that to the social media groups that you add, to the people you add. And so this really um, wraps up this video. See you guys next video. Bye!